My name is Oliver Lake, and I'm going to give some examples of extended technique on the alto saxophone. The first is slap tonguing, and that's usually with a burst of the air and simultaneously hitting the reed. That's kind of an idea of it. So it's the burst of air and my tongue is hitting the reed simultaneously and creating that sound. Another extended technique is harmonics. You would use subtone. The saxophone players will know what I mean when I say subtone. You use that type of breath and you have a fingering. The one of the fingerings I use is the first two fingers here, then three fingers, and the side key D and subtone as I put the air into the horn. Another fingering would be the low B flat and subtone. Those are the two fingerings that I use most of the time when I do harmonics on the saxophone. Subtoning is more of when you play the low notes, you really have to open your throat. So you use subtones for playing low sounds. And you use the same process when you are doing the harmonics. It's mostly when you play high notes, you think of the syllable E, and that closes your throat. When you're playing low notes, you think of the syllable all, and that opens your throat. And, that's, and, and the air stream is very slow and steady, and it's not forced or anything. And that's how you come up with subtoning. So my throat was very open and I'm thinking of the syllable all, and I'm let, making the air stream go in very slowly. And that's the same process for har harmonics and the same process for making plain low s notes on the, s on the saxophone. <laughs> And of course the physical one was the taking the saxophone and putting it on my knee and getting another tone down there. So I use that when I improvise. I use my voice when I improvise. And, and the other extended techniques on the saxophone, I talked about wide intervals, the harmonics, slap tonguing, and then of course playing some regular notes along with that. <laughs>